We are back with episode number eight, Tara. And we have a very special guest for you today. My best friend, Tara, who is also a diehard Bachelorette fan. She's actually more of a Bachelorette fan than I am and she knows her stuff. So we had to get the expert on the show with this. This is gonna be a really big episode. We think a lot of things are gonna be happening in this episode, a lot of drama. It's gonna be something to watch. Uh, bold opinions, what do you think? Well, we think that the whole episode is gonna revolve around none other than Luke P. And Garrett. <laughs> and Garrett, yeah, of course. And I personally think Luke P. and Garrett go home this week. Yes, I agree. So stay tuned and watch what we have to say. And we're gonna get some of the experts' advice. <laughs> so here we go, let's get started. Okay, we are back and we're gonna be going over the very first date that Hannah had in the Netherlands, which looked gorgeous. So Tara, what was your thoughts on that date? I actually liked this date. I thought that was a good pick for the date. Now, do I like Jed though? That's, That's the, the real question. question. I do not like Jed. I don't think he's very sincere. I think though that Hannah likes Jed. Oh, she definitely likes Jed. For she sure. is falling in love with Jed. Yes. Do I think they've had enough time to fall in love? No. No. Yeah. He's here for promotion, self-promotion, and we all feel that fakeness just yeah. lightening its way into the episode. Um, if you like Jed, be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. Tyler and I both laugh because they always have to have the progression of I'm falling for you before they actually say I'm in love with you. Yeah, yeah I didn't do that in our relationship. Did Sloan say he was falling in love for you or did he just say nope. I love you? He said I love you straight yeah. up. Yeah. I'm very surprised that Hannah said that she was falling in love with him. This of quick. all the guys, mm -hmm. I'm surprised that she said it to him first. Yeah. And usually in the Bachelor history, they say that, but it may be after the hometown. Yeah. It's never sure. this early. Mm -hmm. this and is they early. have, they used to not say that on the Bachelor. They used to, the they never. Used to that used to be forbidden, but just the past couple of years, they're they making their own way. It. And we all three agree that this episode made us all cringe so far on this date. So far, this date. Hannah, um, let's heel click. <laughs> yeah, what did you say that you were getting? Secondhand embarrassment. We're getting second. I get that a lot with the show. Secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, so that was Jed's date. And so we're now going on to group. Uh, no, it's not a group date. C. Tyler C. C's date. Hashtag oh. Tyler. We all love Ta Connor. Oh. Ah, uh, no, we actually don't all love Connor. Sorry. <laughs> Who is Connor? He's never on the show. <laughs> Hashtag Team Tyler. We're about to say Connor. <laughs> Tara has some thoughts about Connor. Tell the Bachelor Nation what you think. I love Connor so much. He's been my favorite since the very first opening night, but they never show him and I get so angry because I love him so much. I think he's genuine. I think he's himself. He's a little awkward. That's why I think he's so genuine. And he the has a awkward voice. ones are genuine. He has a little bit of a weird voice, but I'm getting upset at the producers. That's why I think, I don't know who she picks, but I think he goes far because they're not showing them a lot. That and is. Can I go back to Sean Lowe and Catherine? Yes. Never showed Catherine. She did not get a one on date, one on one date until there was like four left. Yep. Side note. First and they're still pizza. going strong. Two side, two side notes. Two side notes. Speaking of voices, Hannah B is having a terrible voice on the episode this time. She's sick or something. Let's get her a peppermint. A um, and then oh yeah, lost. And then who is your favorite, both of you, bachelor couple? Sean Lowe? Sean Lowe. Sean Lowe. For sure. I love JoJo and Jordan. I love JoJo and Jordan. I would love them a lot more if they would, you know, get married. How hey, about that? I love um, Lauren and Ari. I like Lauren yeah. and Ari too. You know, you you but automatically. Lowe, I met Sean Lowe and Catherine. I remember that. Yeah. And I'm telling you, die hard here. All right. She's so big leaking. We're us. going into the next date with Tyler C. Hashtag get married, Bachelor Nation. When... Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and say this. We are doing it a little different this week. We are watching the episode as we speak. Um, in between commercials, we're giving you our thoughts. Let us know if you liked the video like this. It's still really fresh this way. Oh, it is fresh as I will get out. Kind of like what they were eating on a date. Yes, we just finished Tyler C's episode and mm. what are your thoughts on that, Tara? I love the date. I love Tyler C so much. He's one of my favorites. I agree with Tyler last week. I think that he is 
I don't know if she'll pick him, but if she doesn't, I think that he's definitely in the running for the next Bachelor. I think he's genuine. I like him. I, I, I like him too, but I will say, Hannah is uber annoying this episode. I can't help <laughs> it, but she is just driving me crazy. First of all, she's like demanding every single detail from these guys, and yet says absolutely oh, nothing. And it interrupts her. Yep, and then and then it yeah. interrupts him. They, she she will not let him. She did not let him talk tonight. No, let's do an example. So this was like, for example, you're so, gonna talk about Brianna. So I'm what's just on really your mind? trying to. Oh what? What's on your mind? Well, you know, there was just last last week. I More was, details. Do give me details. I want to know what's going up and going on in there. Well, you know, I was just in feeling that. That. <laughs> no, in that and <laughs> that. <laughs> She's just like totally, oh, it's aggravating me. I feel you, Tyler, on being scared of a horse. And Those things fish. are very, very scary. And Hannah, Tara, you know, I choking. I feel like she was hurting the horse. And it kept going backwards because she was pulling on the reins. But I don't think they showed enough of this date. Like we they didn't really get enough didn't. of the date. Like they got ice cream, they ate the fish, they rode the horse, they sat on the bench and talked. That's, like, that's, that's, that is this, that's this season a little bit in more general footage we're saying they didn't give enough footage that is the season in you know recapping a recap and Hannah B never gives them clips for the date we just finished um, before the commercial and Tara is kind of sad about everything going on with Connor mm -hmm. so I just said that I think that Connor makes it far but I was like can I change my opinion <sighs> I wanted her to give that one-on-one -on -one to Connor so bad. So, he deserves the one-on-one. -on -one. So are you saying you think he's going to go one -on -one? home? I think, um, Tyler mentioned, I think that he either leaves on his own or that I don't think she picks him because they just haven't had enough time. I he's feel like if she would have given own. him enough time, he would have made it far. But now that I see he didn't get that one-on-one, -on -one, mm -mm. there's no way he stays because I think I respect him for saying that I'm not confident enough to take home to meet my family. I love the guys and girls that do that on the show. I they agree. Too. Like, cause He's, that shows they're genuine and they're really wanting somebody. Cause I wouldn't do that to my family. Mm -hmm. He's and, not there to get famous. And he's already been here long enough to be on Bachelor in Paradise. He'll probably be there if he Ooh. leaves on this episode. Matter of fact. You know, that's just uh, foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. I hope he does. So yeah. Mm -hmm. do Who would know? be the perfect match for him? I don't know. I have to see all the girls. I don't know all the girls because you know they just they give you who's yeah. gonna be on there, but that's not who all comes. Yeah, yeah. a little bit so, of time. So anyways, so that, that's, that's all that's for just... Tyler's short and sweet date. Mm -hmm. Now Mikey Mike is up. Mikey I do Mike. like Mike. It's the first time I've ever called him Mikey Mike. He should <laughs> feel very special. All right, so now we're going to Mike. Unfortunately, he's really really sweet. He smiles a lot, and I do like him, but. I'm excited about this <laughs> He said, day. unfortunately, he's really, really sweet. But it should have been Connors. That's what I'm saying. It's true. All right. But I like Mike, and I'm excited for this date. All right. Let's do the next date. I'm excited for the Luke and Garrett fight. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're back. And Brianna was actually wanting to go forward in the episode, but Tara... Stopped her real quick. There's a lot going on in this episode, as we expected. Mike is gone. Thoughts, ladies. You wanna go or you want me to go? That was dramatic. Go You're ahead. The guest. What else do you think? I did not see that going that way. I, I like Mike. Mm. Like the Mike. only thing that I'm happy about from this date was the fact that Hannah genuinely, I, I kind of like felt her. Like, I felt like we were really getting a real She really present. showed some emotion. Like, you could really tell it was hard for her to send him home, and I like that. You mean to tell me that she was being real with these guys? Yeah, this one time. Opening up? Yeah, we all thought that Mike was going to hometown, so that did for sure. really kind of surprise us. So that means that Connor was sent home. There's three rose or two roses. And now... Three of them. Yeah, so Connor went home, Mike went home on his one-on-one -on -one date. Now we have Garrett, Luke P, and... Peter, Peter left. Yeah. And one right. of them is Peter's the a lock. Home. Peter's okay. definitely getting the Peter's going today. hometown. Yeah. Garrett or Luke. And then it's going? gonna go back to the two on one. Mm. It's about to get feisty. I'll go ahead and say that. I'm about to make a bold prediction top. She leaves a rose on the table. I either think oh, come that here, buddy. well, I don't know if they're gonna tell us. I'm not sure how much time we have left. Who she keeps. I, I'm gonna be ticked if they leave us hanging. Mm -hmm. Like, because I hate when the bachelor does that. 
It but I, I'm I sure think, they will. Do y'all know who I think she keeps between Garrett and Luke? Who? I think she keeps Luke. Really? Yeah. I would agree. I think she keeps Luke. If I was her, I would send the both home. Yeah. <laughs> Put your tail down, son. <laughs> but I think she keeps Luke. I honestly do. I do too. And I, I she, Garrett has really showed his true colors. Mm -hmm. If she keeps Garrett and she's watching this back, Garrett. She's mm. thinking I should have sent them both home, but I really should have sent Garrett home. Yep. He's the a fact, the fact that Garrett was like, man, I was just being your friend. I was being fake about it. Yeah, we also just witnessed a little, yeah, argue, on, little, do that. little argument that just went down there. <laughs> right. We Jock is trying to get some <laughs> screen time this week again. He's loving he it. He likes Tara. He likes. He tried to attack me on the way in, though. He, <laughs> he feels bad. I mean, protecting the house. <laughs> But, uh, so let's see here. So Luke just said that he's happy that Mike is gone. Luke is actually the only real one. You want me to tell you the two reasons why I say that? Why? He got mad when she jumped off naked with another guy. That's okay. normal, right? And then he got happy when his chances of going, getting a rose. <laughs> Chalk, your breath <laughs> okay, and back to my point before I was really interrupted. Then he got happy when his chances of getting a rose got better. Yeah. I just, this is what I feel, okay? This is just my years of watching The Bachelor since the very beginning. You meet your lifetime, like your lifelong friends here. Like they become friends. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to get along with the guys while you're there. Or the girls while you're there. Mm -hmm. But like for him to be like so rudely like, I hope he leaves. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. But do you have to be like that? Yeah, no. I agree. Like you can tell that the guys that are left are friends. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I don't either. Yep. I don't. And I think it just shows your true colors. If you're that rude to the other guys there. I, I have another question. What? Where was Jed? That's a good point. Mm. Where was Jed? Jed was probably, I got one guess, playing his guitar outside the window. That's where Jed was, but he really wasn't there. Okay, well let's see what happens on this three on one day. It's about to get feisty. It's about to get juicy. <laughs> Woo! Lot going on. Yep. What did we just watch, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> we just watched Luke Peter the pilot is soaring. I'll go ahead and say that. He got the rose. He's going to hometowns. We all we knew that, that was going to happen. There's no, no shocker there. there. All right, what is going to happen now? Yeah, listen. Okay, we all knew that. I, I, I love you. <laughs> what? I had to drop the L bomb. That's what Gary okay. did. All right, so we all knew <laughs> that Luke P at this it. point. We thought Luke P was, after he shared his testimony, getting the rose. Well, then they show Garrett's segment, and he drops the L-bomb and says that he loves Hannah. And it, we were just like, what's happening? I don't know how many times I've heard just straight, I love you on The Bachelor. Tara, how many times have you heard that? Um, The way that Garrett said it, no. And on a two-on-one, mm. no. It's usually definitely on a one-on-one. That felt right. just a little bit like, yeah. A Hail Mary, like he usually said, like he was saying. Yeah, that, so. yeah. Hail Mary. So, whew. I'm just going to be honest with you. I have no idea what's about to happen. And this <laughs> this never happens to me. I yeah. always can predict. I may be wrong, but I can always say what I actually think to happen. I honestly have no idea. So, what we want you to do is comment below your honest opinion, who you thought was going home at this time. Yeah. Luke or Garrett? Because I don't know if... We don't have an answer. Mm -mm. We don't. don't know. So we have to watch it right now. So push we're about light. to watch it. He gone. Garrett is out. Probably. Ooh. <laughs> that was dramatic, and um, Garrett showed his true colors tonight. I guess. The love did not work for Hannah. No. She was not buying it. Mm -mm. No. <sighs> we don't. Even, I think we're gonna I like not wait to see next week. A lot going on. Hometown is gonna be dramatic. Yeah, hometowns. Okay. We're, we're speechless. <laughs> There's not really much to say after that. Yeah, make yeah, sure to like home. this video if you want Tara to come back on the show with us. <laughs> yeah, like this video and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. But so next week I think is gonna be a really good episode. They're doing hometowns. 
Um, I think a lot of the guys are actually in love now, not just falling in love. Where is Peter from? I have no idea. California, I think. Okay. So Peter Georgia, Florida, Peter the pilot is California? I think. I, w I was hoping that he was going to take And then Florida. Jed is Nashville? Mm-hmm. Okay, Jed has totally made its very bottom of the ranking. He was up he in top down. three. And he, he was the first night he was top for me. He's just really gone downhill. He's yeah. just a loser. <clears throat> so, Peter the Pilot and Tyler are way up there. I don't think Luke is that bad. I'll go ahead and say that again. Oh, yeah. Think yeah. So I like I didn't agree with Luke on anything, but now I kind of agree with him yeah. on a couple things. I do agree. Let me go ahead and say this. He doesn't have the best personality. He is kind of like a robot. I think that's all we have to say for this episode. We finally got an episode that was eventful and had some footage that we could actually recap. Yeah. So, Tara, how'd you like being on the show this week? I've enjoyed it so much. I never get to talk about it with anybody, so I'm yes. just so excited. Yes, so please let us know in the comments what your thoughts were in this episode, and we will come back to do our very exciting hometown recap. Hometown recap. Ring cap. <laughs> It's late. <laughs> Make sure to come back for next week's Hometown Recaps. You know what The Bachelor is. All about the recaps of the recaps. And is there anything else? That's it. Thank you so much for watching.